Welcome back to D-Design. Today, we're going to learn how to create animations in Figma using Smart Animate. Let's start with an iPhone 16 frame. Add a rectangle shape for the background color. And choose a nice green color for good. Next, add another rectangle shape for the eye. I'm using a rectangle with a radius so that it looks like a circle, which helps create a smooth animation. Change the color to black and set the opacity to 50%. Now add a lip shape using the pen tool. Add three nodes while holding the shift key. Double click on the shape and select curve. Click on the node you want to convert to a curve and adjust it to create a nice smile. Set the stroke size to 13, round both corners. and change the opacity to 50%. Once you're happy with the smiley, start adding a title. Cop Copy the title using Ctrl D and type Good. Change the font size to set the opacity to font weight to black and text indent 2. Now let's design the slider. Use the rectangle tool to create the slider. Add a circle and copy it to divide the slider into three parts. Then add a slider button. And move it to the end because good will be at the end. If the button is behind other elements, bring it to the front using the shortcut key square bracket. Now that we have all the necessary elements, 
rename the frame to good. Duplicate it using Ctrl D and rename it bad. Change the background rectangle color to red and update the text to bad. The slider button should be at the beginning, so move it accordingly. Duplicate the frame again and rename it to not bad. Change the text accordingly and move the slider button to the middle. Update the background color to yellow. Now, let's adjust the smiley face for each frame. Adjust the bad smiley to reflect a negative expression. For not bad, rotate the lip to opposite side. Reduce the height of the circle shape from the middle to create a rounded rectangle. Position it properly to match the other frames. Now that we have three complete frames, let's create the animation. Open prototype mode. And use the drag trigger with smart animate. Set the curve to bouncy for a natural dragging effect. Repeat this process for the other frames. It looks great.
Now add multiple on drag options for different frames and double check everything. Awesome. It functions perfectly. Next, let's add a tap trigger and apply smart animate just like before. Make sure to assign all necessary trigger events. Superb, it works exactly as expected. Now convert these frames into a component set and name it rate so we can reuse it multiple times in the project. To test it, create a new iPhone 16 frame. And insert the rate component from the assets panel. Make sure it's placed inside the app frame. Now let's preview the animation. Everything looks great. That's all for today's video. See you in the next one. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.